And we begin here at 530 with the state of homelessness in Summit County. Just weeks ago, we told you crews were going into the streets for their point in time survey. It looks at how many people are homeless on any given night. While those results aren't available just yet, we do have some numbers showing the increase in recent years. When the survey was conducted in 2022, 441 people were homeless. But last year, that number jumped to 648. And we know stories like this have a broader impact on the community, which is why our Bob Jones is following through tonight. He is looking at how one shelter for women and children is handling an increase in clients. Sarah Preeb, an Akron mother of two, suddenly became homeless after tragedy struck last year. Actually, I was living in a home, but I had um, my house burnt down last January. In October, Sarah found Access, a homeless shelter for women and children, and she's been getting a lot of support here ever since. What are you seeing out there in terms of the need for housing for women and children? Um, it's very hard. It's so hard. It took a while to swallow my pride, of course, to um, you know ask for help. Jackie Hemsworth is the executive director of Access, which is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. We're seeing that need skyrocket and people are just truly in need now. We're seeing some really true after effects of the pandemic hit people who are most in need. Jackie says Summit County has been seeing a rise in homelessness in general, and in the case of access, the average length of stay has more than tripled from 28 days before the pandemic to 91 days now. We have a waiting list 365 days a year of people waiting to get into our shelter, so the need is quite high. While the longer stays illustrate the increased need, the good news is 66% of residents who left access in 2023 found permanent housing. That's 22% above the national average. Jackie says a rise in housing costs, the end of the eviction moratorium, and the decline in COVID benefits have contributed to the spike in need among women and children at shelters. It's really unfortunate, sad, but it is the reality of things. 13 years ago, Monique Love was a resident here when she was pregnant and struggling to find housing. I was here for a good three weeks and I had just phenomenal support and I was able to get housed, get furniture before my baby even came. Now she works at Access, helping families as a child care assistant. You were on the other side and now you're making a difference. Yes. It's got to make you feel good. Yes, it does. It does. It's, it's, full, it's full circle. Jackie stressed there is immediate help for those at risk of homelessness. First thing you do is call 211 and from any any place, any phone here in Summit County, and that's who does the coordinated entry for shelters. As for Sarah, she continues to work towards her end goal. So you're working hard to get that new home and you have hope. I do, I do, I won't give up, <laughs> I won't give up. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5. And that rise in homelessness is being seen on a national scale. The point in time survey for 2023 was released in December. And it found 653,000 people were homeless in January. That is the highest number since the tracking began. And it was up by nearly 71,000 from the previous year. The numbers were driven by people becoming homeless for the first time, mostly thanks to the combination of soaring rents and the decline in COVID-19 assistance.